Hello, I'm Craig from DCC Concepts and today we're going to take a look at the AE model Super Solenoid. Imagine a solenoid point motor which takes away a lot of the issues that you would expect to come across when using a solenoid point motor. With a traditional motor you'd be looking at periodic adjustments as well as frustrations because there's no frog polarity control on board, which ours has a standard. You've got yourself an AE solenoid point motor and we're going to show you how to install it. So ideally, we shall start with a nice clean work area. And you're going to lay your track and underlay roughly in place so it's nice and neat. We're then going to use a handy little template to help you drill out the pilot holes you'll need for positioning the motor later on. Nice and simple, right down the middle, easy to do. You can just see here now where we've drilled our five little pilot holes, one down the centre of the time bar and four at either end. Once that's done, we can move out of the way and drill the proper holes through our underlay and the baseboard. Then you can line it all back up and make sure it looks nice and neat before we continue on to the next part of the install. Now this next bit involves positioning the actual point motor itself underneath the baseboard. This can be a little bit frustrating, but don't worry. As you can see in the footage, all you need to do is just lift up from underneath and look for the little tie bar. So here we are, we can just see how we're positioning it there underneath, trying to line it up with the holes. And we can just see the throw bar there. Just make sure everything moves nice and freely before you screw anything down underneath the board there. Then we can plug in our connectors. And don't forget, with the connectors, you can actually just turn them around. So if you plug them in, you find out actually this isn't working properly. Just pull it out, turn it around, plug it back in the other way. It's easy. Now, once everything's connected, we're going to take a quick look at how the wiring's laid out. So we have the black, red and green wire, the black being track power left, the red being track power right, and of course the green wire being frog polarity control. And I've just used one of our handy bus tags to solder everything together to keep things nice and neat and easy to follow. Jolly good. Now, a little bit more about that frog wire there, the green wire. Unlike a conventional solenoid port motor, that was actually comes with frog polarity control built in. Now this is essential for getting the absolute best out of your locomotives and running sessions in terms of reliability. The last thing you need is a loco stalling over the frog because it's not got the right power or polarity. A great feature to include. Next part is really simple. We're just going to connect the solar light point motor to our chosen method of switching. So that might be a CDU and a switch of some description. So it could be a button or a toggle switch, or like I've chosen, one of our S levers, cause well, to be honest with you, I think they look really nifty. And it really is as simple and straightforward as that. We've got the point motor connected to our throw switch and to our track power. And all we have to do is just throw that switch. It works splendidly. But what about surface mount solutions? Well, it's quite simple, really. All you need to do is mark out where you want to mount your motor, drill some little pilot holes that like we did earlier, screw the motor down, not too tightly, and then of course drill a nice pilot hole to feed your wires through to underneath the baseboard. So you've got something which looks a little bit like what we have here. Everything nice and neat and tucked out of the way so we can crack on with what we need to do underneath the baseboard and of course on top of the baseboard. Which of course is fitting the throw bar, which of course is a nice simple process. But first we need to cut off the little nipple you have on the point there. And here we see our lovely little throw bar installed. Now what you want to do with your little bit of spring steel is bend each end into a sort of a Z shape. Thread the first half through the points and then the second half through the motor. You may need to remove the motor and position the motor around the, th the throw bar rather than trying to thread the throw bar through the motor it'll just make your life a lot easier. And as you can see, the motor throws nice and smoothly with a nice, positive, strong action on the point as well. And at the same time, the motor is switching the frog polarity. So we're getting reliability, we're getting a strong but delicate throw action, and we're also getting frog polarity control all integrated. This means our motor is three times more efficient. And remember, the AE model solar light point motor is a super simple, easy way of doing things. It's also smooth as well, without being too violent. It has a lockable latching pin as well, so when you do throw the point motor, you can actually use it with a point which has had the spring removed as well. So whether your point still has a spring in place or is being removed, you can still use the AE Super Solar Light motor on it as well. 
no problems whatsoever with that. These are also super efficient. They use a 12 ohm solenoid coil. This means that it's three times more efficient than any other solenoid point motor on the market today. It also has dual tracking. That means that when the motor operates, it picks up power from both sides. That means more reliability. It's gonna last a long time. Now, if you want all the full specs, guys, do go to our website. It's all available there for you to see and have a look at. And if you do, as always, have any questions, you can leave a comment below or send us an email or give us a call. We're always happy to help. Until next time, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.